Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today, well, today it's the middle of February. I'm gonna be supering some hives. It is beautiful weather out here. I think it's 72 degrees. It's gonna get to 74. Next week, it's gonna be 76 with lows of 61. And let me tell you, the flowers are blooming, the pollen's out there, the nectar's gonna start coming in, and I wanna make sure that these girls don't swarm. So today, we're gonna to be checking for swarm cells on the back row, and then we're going to add a super to each one of these hives, and then some of the hives that we worked on last week and I'm a little bit out of breath because a guard just chased me across the yard, but that's neither here nor there. Let me get my smoker lit my veil on because I really want to get my veil on, and then we'll get started. Holy moly. Man, I tell you what, it's just like the end of last week's video where the guard chased me. I, didn't, I haven't even been in a hive yet today. These girls are guarding their territory, and I guess I was standing a little bit too close and flailing my arms, as I do when I talk, and a bee saw it and thought I was a bear or I'm coming after them, but it doesn't matter. I'm safe now, safe-ish. Let me get my smoker lit and we'll get into these hives. All right, so before, before we begin, before I begin, before we get into this, into this hive and into this video, I wanna ask you a question. Um, and there's really, there's no right answer. I'm, I'm simply looking for your opinion. And if you would, please leave it down in the comments. And I'm not trying to bait you into leaving stuff in the comments, but I do have a, a, a serious question about beekeeping and about what I'm going to do this year. Now, it's very relevant for today because it has to deal with putting supers on. So usually when I put supers on my hives, I'll put a queen excluder on the hive before I put the super on there to keep the queen out of the out of the honey supers and make sure that when I'm I'm harvesting at the end of the year, I'm getting clean comb with no no brood in it or anything like that. But I'm wondering, I've heard through the grapevine, little bird landed on my shoulder and told me that if you use queen excluders, that you will have a smaller honey harvest than if you don't use queen excluders. Basically, a lot of the worker bees or some of the worker bees or every fifth worker bee, I don't know, filled with honey can't get through the queen excluder. Therefore, they de deposit it down in the brood nest or they have to pass it off to a bee who can take it up. So I'm not really sure how that works or if it's even a thing. But this year, I think, at least to begin, I'm going to put my supers on without queen excluders. And then I think in the fall, I might try using a fume board or I might just try looking through the frames and looking for frames that don't have brood on them to harvest the honey. So that's that's my plan, that's my idea. Um, do me a favor, let me know down in the comments what you think. Maybe I should put a queen excluder on them. And if, if so, maybe I'll go back and I'll do it. But as things stand right now, I think I'm going to, to go this year without a queen excluder. Hello, ladies. gonna have a quick inspection to make sure everything is going well and I will be out. Okay I can see brood already. I mean I see a lot of brood. I can see a, a ton of brood right here, right here. I don't think there's going to be a supersedure cell. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna lift this box I'm going to see if I see any any queen any swarm cells on the bottom. Okay, there's a lot of brood. Ooh. I do see some queen cups, but they are empty. We're making those right on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off. There we go. There we go. Okay. That looks good. I'm going to remove that. Okay. All right, I don't see, that was, that, was, that was difficult. I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore, but I don't see any swarm cells on there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give them a super. There you go. Here you go, girls, all newly waxed, newly minted frames. Happy days. 
All right, maybe I need another plan of attack. That wasn't that wasn't easy. I've seen some other folks on the internet do that, and I, I, I don't know how you do it so gracefully. I can't do that. So I'm going to, I guess, have to give a quick look through these boxes. All right, hello, girls. Hello, oh, there's a lot of moisture in this hive. A ton. Oh, and a ton of bees, okay. And at least a handful of hive beetles, which I'm going to kill right now. There's one, four hive beetles, toast. All right, Let's see here. Looks like there's not a lot going on in this frame, so let me pull this frame out. And the next one is a full frame of honey. Okay, there is the brood. And there is the brood. Okay. Okay. Just another crazy amount of brood on both sides. Make sure I don't have the queen on here. It's getting windy. There we go. Ooh, that's heavy. There we go. Let me have a look. Okay. These girls are drawing new comb, which is good. And cleaning up old comb on the back there. See what we have happening here. Okay. They are drawing comb there, but plenty of space. And drawing comb on this side. Plenty of space. I don't think there's going to be a queen cell in here. I don't know whether there's even going to be brood in here, but we're gonna we're gonna keep looking just to make sure. I don't wanna I don't wanna okay. We have brood. We have brood on this frame, so they are starting to lay down in the bottom and on this side. Okay. Let me have a look. Okay. We have more brood. Oh, oh, there's our queen. There she is right there. Hello, we're gonna put you right back down in the hive. There you go, ladies. There you go. There you go. Okay, ladies, thank you very much. All right, ladies, what do we have here? Oh, only a seven framer, only a seven framer. We're going to give these girls another frame while we're at it. Let's have a look at what we can see inside your hive. Probably do not have a lot going on here. Okay. You're just drawing that comb out. That is okay. Tis the season. Oh, goodness. Okay. We have... We have comb, and we have some drone comb. And I've broken open some drone cells on the bottom. So there you go. This is, uh... I'm going to have to de-goink this one. These bees... If anybody's going to make a queen, I'll bet it's going to be these girls. They've got a lot of brace comb in there. Oh, in full frames of brood. Wow, that is that is that is beautiful. Okay, okay, but no queen cell, no swarm cell. That's okay. Oh man. Okay, there's some brood. We're laying brood down here and drawing out new comb. That is a good thing. Oh, there's a full frame of brood right here. Let's just pull this out just to make sure that we don't have make sure we don't have any uh, swarm cells on here. That is a beautiful frame. I do not see the queen. Let's look at the other side. 
beautiful. I do not see the queen, but she could be on this ball of bees, and I don't want to drop her on the ground, so I'm putting this back in the hive. All right. And we have more brood right there. I don't see the queen. Oh, there she is. There she is, right there. I hope you can see her. She's a beaut. We're going to put her back in here. She is laying on the bottom. That is a good thing. Here you go. Beautiful. All right, one more. Army hive. Let's do this. Surprise me. Make me happy. Let's have a look. There we go. All right, we were in here just a little while ago. Remember, they were just a tiny box. They didn't have a whole lot going on. We just gave them the deep that's on the bottom here. So they're doing their thing right there. Not a whole lot going on. Yeah, this is uh, okay. That's all resources. Okay, I just found the brood. Just found the brood. Beautiful frame of brood. Just gorgeous. Okay, so this queen is doing what she needs to do. I do not think that I'm going to have a swarm cell in here at all. I just don't think that they... They probably don't even have the bottom built out yet, which makes me wonder, maybe I shouldn't even give these girls a, a super yet. But boy, I tell you what, as fast as they build out, once all these bees are hatched, and there's a whole bunch more right there, and a whole bunch more right there. No, they don't even have the bottom box built out yet. They're still working on this top box. I'm not going to be giving these girls a super. That would be a negative. They are not ready, but they are doing very, very well. And there's our queen. There she is. What a pretty queen. There you go, army queen. You're back in your box. And while we're here, we'll just go down to the bottom just to make sure that everything's okay. I'm sure that they haven't done anything down there yet, but we're gonna look. Why not? Nothing going on here, nothing there, nothing there. Okay, they're not doing anything yet. These girls have everything they need to succeed. All right, now we're just going to go to the front and we're going to give the purple hive a super and maybe the blue hive a super. Let's, uh, let's zip up there real quick. Zippity zip, zip, zip. Here we go. Here you go, I got a present for you. You girls go fill it up. All right, who else needs a super? Hello ladies, I come bearing gifts. I have a present for you. Here you go. There we go. All right, well, there you go. The end of another adventure. Now, we did manage to get through everybody on the back row and made sure that everybody, with the exception of the Army Hive, got a new super so that they are ready for the flow. The Army Hive, well, it just wasn't ready yet. The bottom box has not been drawn out. So we're going to give them another week or two to see if they can get that drawn out before we give them another super. Um, we also managed to give a super to the Purple Hive and to the Blue Hive. So all is right with the world. Everybody else is in good shape, and we are ready for the flow. And I don't think I'm going to miss any of the honey, and I hope I don't have any swarms. But those are famous last words. Anyways, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. I try to keep it light and have fun. So with all that said, be happy, and I will see you next week. Take care.
And then if we have time, we're gonna... Oh.